Hey everybody, what is going on? So in this video, I, you know, I want to take a break from the parks a little bit. And I mean, I don't know about you guys. I'm really, really tired of making videos and talking about Governor Gavin Newsom. Um, the reopening of stuff at Disneyland seems to be going around in circles. So I wanted to kind of dive into Disney Plus a little bit something new, something exciting to actually talk about. And The Mandalorian Season 2, it premiered yesterday, and I have a lot of thoughts on this. And I absolutely, just to kind of give you an idea, in short, I absolutely loved this episode. This premiere episode got me hooked. It really did. And I have to be quite honest with you, I was a huge fan of Mandalorian Season 1. I love The Mandalorian, but for some reason, I wasn't like overly hyped for this new season, I just didn't, I wasn't in the mood for it or something. I, I can't really pinpoint what it was, but you know what? I still, I, 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 I watched the episode and after the episode, I'm back in the Mandalorian hype. I absolutely loved, loved this episode. Now, there was an actor, his name is, uh, I'm gonna read it to you, uh, is Timothy um, Oliphant and he played a, a character called Cobb Vanth. Okay, Cobb Vanth. Now, this guy, I hope he has a lot of reoccurring appearances on The Mandalorian Season 2. He was absolutely phenomenal. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this actor. Um, I don't believe I've seen him in anything else, but he was fantastic. He was really, he, him and Mando had a lot of great banter. I love the back and forth between these two men. He was great. Absolutely great. And when they introduced him and he had the Boba Fett armor on that didn't quite fit him right, they were setting up, they were planting the seeds for what we saw at the very end shot, okay? And that's one thing I absolutely loved about this episode directed by one of my favorite directors, John Favreau, is that he, he did a masterful job at really planting seeds along the way. Like you saw this, this character Cobb you know, approach in the, in, the, in the Boba Fett armor that didn't quite fit him. So you knew something was up, right? That's when I started to think of like, wait a minute, what's going on here? You know, they're, they're planting the seed and then they go and their whole mission is to kind of defeat this Sarlacc pit monster, this dragon. You know, that's another kind of seed that John Favreau was planting. You know, the whole episode, they kept planting seeds that led to the ultimate reveal at the end, now spoiler, you know, <laughs> um, but at the end you see Boba Fett, right? You see Boba Fett standing there and he turns around and faces the camera. Um, but I think that Favreau did a great job at really planting those seasons, setting that final moment up. It was brilliant. I loved this episode. I love this episode. It had a lot of action in it. One of my big complaints with, ep with uh, season one was that, you know, it kind of got off to a slow start there was a lot of setup and it got off to a kind of a slow start, but once it got going, it really hit its stride. I really enjoyed the show. This season, they don't have to explain anything. They can hit the ground running with Mando and Baby Yoda and just go on these adventures. And, and it's, it, I mean, that's exactly what they did. From start to finish, this episode was really, really exciting. And for those of you in the Star Wars community, you're familiar with Dave Filoni right? And if you've seen a Dave Filoni show, whether that be, you know, Star Wars, the Clone Wars, or whether it be Rebels, Dave Filoni is a master at kind of building layers and kind of each season of his shows tend to get better and better and better and better. And what you think might just be filler or throwaway episodes later on actually prove to be very instrumental, very important to the story, right? He plants a lot of seeds and every season of these other shows got better and better and better. His involvement with the Mandalorian gives me hope that that's what he's doing here. I have a great feeling about season two. I really do. It started off with a very strong episode. This was a phenomenal episode. It was an hour long, which is a longer than most of the other Mandalorian episodes. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. Um, one thing that I was concerned about, and I think I, I watched John Campia, and I'm a big fan of Campia, and he, he mentioned this, and I was also concerned about this. I, I was worried with the popularity of Baby Yoda. You know, it kind of caught Disney off guard a little bit. They were surprised by how enormous, how, how big Baby Yoda got. 
in season one. I was concerned that in season two they were gonna go, they were gonna overcompensate too much with the baby Yoda. Look at baby Yoda, look how cute he is, and kind of go overboard with baby Yoda because now they know he's a mega, mega hit. They didn't do that. They didn't do that. Baby Yoda plays the same kind of role in in this episode that he did in season one. He's very much kind of a secondary, I mean, he is, he's a secondary character and the focus was really on Mando. Um, and I like that. I don't want them to go overboard with Baby Yoda because everyone loves him and thinks he's really cute. I, I want them to stick to the story. And they did that. And I love that about that. And I'm not too surprised. You know, John Favreau, I trust this guy immensely. You know, he's only let me down once with Lion King. But everything else that he's done has been phenomenal. So I trust him. And he directed this episode. But uh, overall, I give this episode really high marks. I had a lot of fun with it. It got me back on the Mando hype train. Um, I can't wait for next Friday. I want to see episode two. Um, so yeah, I really loved it. I, overall, I give this episode really high marks. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't know why you're watching a spoiler review, but if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's amazing. I absolutely loved it. Another thing too that I really want to bring up, and I, I kept thinking about this while I was watching the episode, but Mandalorian is sort of this generation's you know, Davy Crockett or, or Zorro, I think, you know, it reminded me very much, I don't know why, but this episode in particular reminded me very much of those Walt era heroes, you know, kids growing up in the fifties, they had Zorro, they had Davy Crockett, they had Cowboys. This episode of Mando reminds me, it's, it kind of, it's a throwback to that era, but done in a new way for today's kids, for today's generation. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool, you know? I mean, I'm a Disney channel, right? I'm a, I'm a Disney content creator, whatever you want to call it. And I, I thought that was an interesting connection that I, that I was making that, like, you know, I feel like this Mandalorian series is very much the next version, the evolution of the characters that Walt brought to us in like the 50s with Davy Crockett and Zorro and stuff. Mando's the, the, the newest iteration of that kind of, you know, rough around the edges, you know, tough guy. And um, I thought that was really actually pretty interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I absolutely love this episode. I suggest if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I am super stoked for episode two. But if you've seen the episode, what are your thoughts on it? I really want to hear from you guys. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. What do you think about the big reveal? What do you think about, you know, the, the 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 new character Cobb, who I absolutely loved? Did you like him? Did you hate him? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear from each and every one of you. Thank you all so so much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you. Bye bye now.